Hey everyone, what's up? How's it going? I'm Mariah and today we're going to be painting this 12 by 12 inch canvas. So let's get into it. So for today's video, I really wanted to do a swipe pour because I haven't done one in a really long time and I'm feeling a little bit Halloween inspired. Now these aren't traditional Halloween colors, but I'm going to be doing pink and black, which I just think is fun. I already have my colors mixed and these ones are really easy to start. So let's just hop right into it. I'm going to be swiping metallic black over the rest of the painting, so I'm going to put that at the top. If you're not familiar with how a swipe pour works, basically what we're going to do is lay our colors down side by side and then we'll take this top color and swipe it, drag it over the rest of the colors and it will create like a cool lacing effect. I'm going to alternate between using metallics and non-metallics and see what happens. Now we've got light pink no metallic. Now I'm going to take this metallic glowing peach shade. The tip of this one is clogged. I'm going to have to clean it after. So it did not lay down as cleanly as the other ones. But to be honest, that's fine because these shades are very similar. It's okay to get a little mix of metallic. Now I'm gonna use this red, but it really leans more magenta, so I think it will pair nicely with our pinks. I actually have two different reds that I was going to use, and they look pretty much the same right now. I think this one was more of the true red, so I'm gonna put this, maybe mix it, and lay it next to it. That's why it's good to label your paints. Another fun thing you can try is shaking your bottle without the cap on and <laughs> again, it'll be fine. You guys know I'm a very messy painter. When we swipe it all together, it'll just kind of blend. Honestly, that's something that I love about pour painting. You don't have to be very precise, it's abstract, and it's very forgiving as far as mistakes, most of the time. Okay, and now we're ready to swipe. So I've got my paper towel. I'm just gonna lightly place it in the black and drag it down over the rest, and then we'll see what happens. So at first glance, the black is really taking over. We're gonna tilt it to my left so that the black will kind of fall off the edge and we'll get more of this beautiful gradient on the painting. I also wanna make sure, because the paper towel wasn't quite as wide as the canvas, I wanna just make sure that um, nothing weird is happening on the edges and that it's a cohesive piece. Like see this over here, I need to cover that up. So I'm gonna tilt it down. I love it. I was thinking of this as a Halloween piece, and then when I looked at the colors, I was like, oh, that's probably not gonna come out very Halloween. But just swiping black over red definitely looks pretty dark. I like it. I think this could be a Halloween piece. We'll have to see how it dries. Now I'm just gonna quickly touch up my edges and kind of, um, I don't wanna continue pouring into the corners because I don't wanna lose a lot of this good stuff that we have in the middle. So I'm just gonna kind of touch it up and we'll be right back. Okay, so my edges are covered. Swipe pours are very quick. They're one of the easiest pour styles to do. The only trouble can be getting a composition that you like. So I kind of like the way that this one isn't super symmetrical. Like it, there's a little bit of a curve to the way this pink falls, which I think is a little more interesting than just kind of like a straight gradient, but everybody has different preferences. So I'm trying to decide if I want to mess with this at all. The red and the pink don't appear right now to be kind of integrating that well with each other. Um, but it's really hard to say before it dries. So 
I think I'm gonna leave this as is. I don't wanna mess up what I have, which I feel like is a good thing. So I'll be back in a couple days to show you guys this piece dry. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below what your thoughts are on this painting, and I will see you very soon in my next video. I upload every Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Thanks for watching. Bye! Hey everyone, here is this week's painting dry. You can definitely see the metallic shine coming through. I really love the colors. I love the gradient. I'm not sure if this is a Halloween piece. I think I might turn it into one by like drawing a skull or a bat on top of it. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. I think it could use a little bit of sprucing up with some kind of um, drawing on top. But overall, I really love this piece. I love the shine and I can't wait to show you guys the final form of this piece and I will upload that to my Instagram as soon as it's ready. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next week at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Bye.